This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Stuart Robson. It's Paris Saint-Germain taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, it doesn't come any better than this, does it? This has the makings of an absolute classic. These are two brilliant teams, and at the moment, I can't separate them. And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Bernat plays with Ashraf Hakimi in the fullback positions. Idrissa Gay plays alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And operating through the middle in attack today is Lionel Messi. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield and handed the task of playing up front today, Romelu Lukaku. And they get the ball rolling in the Champions League final. We're about to find out who will be crowned club kings of Europe. And PSG pushing forward with options available. Mbappe. Now with Jorginho. Well, considering the form book, Stuart, Kylian Mbappe has got to be taken seriously here. Well, Derek, his outstanding attribute is his pace. Not just over the first few yards, but over longer distances as well. And that makes him so difficult to play against. Defenders are unsure what to get Oh, wait, to. Stuart, they might score. And a goal for Chelsea. They've hit the front in the Champions League final. Well, as you can see, he's just placed that beyond the keeper. That's a very good finish. Well, they get the ball moving again. What effect will that goal have on PSG? We're going to find out here. Hakimi, Verassi now, well read to win possession back, Lukaku and Havertz, wonderful tackle, Lionel Messi, Idrissa Gay, Wijnaldum, plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Marcos Alonso. Now with Jorginho. Well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them. Thiago Silva. 
Marcus Alonso. Now with Jorginho. Conte. Mount. Mbappe. Now with Messi. Idrissa Gay. Verratti. Lionel Messi. Mbappe! Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper because he makes a very good save to start with. Where are his defenders following in? It's the attackers that get there first, and it's a very good finish. So back underway following the equaliser. Rudiger Jorginho Romelu Lukaku now 27 Idrissa Gueye to be replaced by number 15 Danilo Pereira Conte Ngolo Conte on to Jorginho five minutes remaining and level pegging here trying to get onto the front foot with the minutes ticking away and a throw in it's going to be number seven Ngolo Conte to be replaced by number eight Matteo Kovacic Kovacic well read to win possession back Danilo Pereira Messi here's Mbappe well adding up all the stoppages we will have two extra minutes and the counter looks on here options available They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. So back in business here, the first period of extra time, and it might well come down to mental fortitude. Who wants this more? Jorginho. A very good tackle. Mbappe Icardi I must say this looks promising Verratti that's all they can conjure for now Rudiger Jorginho Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And a corner coming up for Chelsea. Can they make good use of it? Well, there's the confirmation. That was nowhere near to crossing the line, was it? <laughs> so the corner played into the box. Well, perhaps not a high percentage chance for him. Well, although he was always going to be second to the ball, the defender just about did enough to stop him getting a clean header there.
Mateo Kovacic. Kovacic. Well, nothing for the players in the middle to work with. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Half time in extra time, and still they are level. Lionel Messi. Well, extra time continues. We're into the second period now. Coming onto the pitch, 21, and the Herrera. Christensen. Saul. Here's Kovacic. It's with Saul. Mateo Kovacic. Havertz. Well, Chelsea being afforded too much space here. He made it look simple, really. Herrera. Icardi. Well, time is running out to get this winner, but the fans certainly believe it's coming. Just listen to the noise. What a fantastic finish we could have here. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. on the scent of a winner late in this game and the electronic board showing one additional minute after 120 and so the penalty shootout about to commence and as a player this is oh he saved it and he succeeds in finding the bottom corner his turn to try to convert from the spot. In it goes! And it's gone in! And confidently converted! Can he convert? And just like that, he's come up with the save! And the penalty converts it here. Too much elevation off the crossbar. It comes down to this, a goal, and they win the game. Oh, that's it! The final act in the drama. One team jubilant, the other distraught. Well, what an end into a very good tournament, and I think they fully deserve to win it. Maybe not in this manner, though, but it was great entertainment. It certainly was, and they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment for everyone involved with the club, but for their opponents, it's a case of trying to forget and move on as quickly as possible. Well, I think we should give them some credit, too. They played their part in what was an excellent contest. Some of their football was brilliant. Yes, fair play, Stuart. The party in full swing now. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments.
the Champions League winners, Paris Saint-Germain. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night.